Oh, chimpanzee, that thing's running down and down. That's the jiggle for uh, excerpts from Carl's diary. This is all uh, legitimate stuff. Ricky and I have had no input in this. This is the first time we get to read it. Went and did some shopping for stuff as it was my turn. Suzanne moaned a bit because I forgot orange juice and bought some cheap toilet paper. She always buys the expensive toilet paper. I don't know why they make toilet paper with pretty patterns on it. <laughs> that made it into the diary. <laughs> uh, up and out at nine o'clock to go to the Cotswolds. Now, I think this was a gift for your girlfriend, wasn't it? For her yeah, birthday, it was you went to the Cotswolds. Yeah, that's so I just went for one night. Got the car and headed off. We found the B&B, but they wouldn't let us in the room because we were early. We went for a walk. <laughs> there was not much around the B&B, so we had a quick walk around the car park <laughs> and went back in. Happy birthday. <laughs> the room was now ready. It's an all right room. Free biscuits, so I ate them straight away. <laughs> like a child. Like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> he runs in, jumps on the bed. No, 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 no. Get off the bed, not on the furniture. <laughs> the room overlooked the car park that we'd already been round. <laughs> <laughs> You're staring at that window. Remember when we went there? <laughs> we'd always have the car park. Oh, yeah. oh, God. The room had posh coat hangers in the wardrobe with sponge on them. <laughs> so I ate the sponge. <laughs> Don't think they are needed. Um, we went and booked a table for Sunday dinner. I had beef. It was nice enough, but there was a family of 13 behind us. I don't see the point in going out in large numbers. They annoyed me. One of the family asked for sorbet before his next course. He was only about 11. He thought he was it. <laughs> I said to Suzanne, I've had enough and needed a kip. Watch Planet Earth on BBC One. They filmed a panda for four weeks and all it did was sit in its cave. It did nout. If I was Fiat, I wouldn't name one of my cars after them as it suggests it won't work or go very far. It'd be like bringing out a Ford Sloth. No one would buy it. <laughs> Oh, God. The new Vauxhall Slug. <laughs> <laughs> we had a look around the local village. There wasn't much to it. We did the usual thing and had a look around the church graveyard to see how old the dead people are. <laughs> So, Su Suzanne's had it over time so far. She's gone to the Cotswolds, the room wasn't ready, she's seen the car park, and they'll just go and play how old the dead people are. Oh, I like the fact that you mentioned we did the usual thing of having a look around the church graveyard. Do you make her do that's, that every time you, you do, go away? It, I like the fact, I want to know what she did for two hours when you slept. She just looked out at the car park, just like, memories. <laughs> but well, that's, that's what you do, though, isn't it, when you go to these places? There's nothing else, unless you want fudge. <laughs> or, uh, you know, you, you walk round the church graveyard and, <laughs> and have a look. Like it's nothing. Fudge. We went home. It took three hours to drive back. People say they go to the country to see the wildlife. I saw rabbits, pheasants and a fox on the way home. They were all dead in the road. <laughs> uh, talking, I was just intrigued to know, because Rob from Burton on Trent uh, has sent this in, and he wants to know that, because he's just started seeing someone, and he wants to know what your advice, Carl, is on how to keep her happy. So what's your sort of your advice, really, for someone who's perhaps just started a relationship? I, don't, I, I mean, you've been with Suzanne for, what, nine years? Ages. Mm. Mm. I think you should just do what you want, and then if they like it, then they're the right ones for you. Mm. So don't, don't go out of your way too much. I mean, I got the posh badge for a birthday. Mm. Uh, that's once a year. The uh, rest of the time, it's kind of like... You know, I, I I like weird stuff. I like watching weird stuff and all that. Um, now and again, I won't make her watch it. I'll, I'll tape it. <laughs> <laughs> it's an amazing advice. But sometimes... This is amazing advice. Sometimes you just say, no, come on, the bloke with the two heads on, I want to watch it live. <laughs> uh, so give and take is what you're saying there. That's all. It's, it's, it shouldn't be hard. As soon as it's hard, it's not right. So just... Uh, just go about your business, see if she joins in. <laughs> Woke up to the Commonwealth Games on the radio. Now, what are you making of the Commonwealth Games? Is that something that interests you? Are you a sports fan? Um, I, I'm not, really. It just seems to be sort of wasted. If people are running fast, use it. 
Do you know what I mean? Rather than just trying to beat your own record or someone else's, do something where you do have to run. If you're a good swimmer, be a lifeguard. Don't be messing about going up and down. I was swimming recently, I do a lot of swimming, and I've never quite mastered my front crawl. Just never quite nailed the breathing, because it's quite tricky, isn't it? You know, you've yeah. you got to breathe at the right moment. And um, so I'm in the swimming pool in the local gym, and there's a guy bombing up and down, really doing a great forward stroke. So I uh, waited till he came up, and sort of went, uh, <laughs> excuse me, mate. Um, <clears throat> I was just watching you when you were doing your front crawl. I was really impressed. Could you just watch me? When I do mine, and tell me if I'm going wrong. Why would you go to a man? I know, and that was what I. Th- that was the problem. Is only as I was saying it did I realise what it sounded like. I've just been watching you yeah. swimming up and down. I was really and, impressed. And you're both in speedos. <laughs> both in speedos. You know, I'm. I'm got the goggles on, um, prescription goggles, so that I can see when I'm, when I'm swimming. But why do you need them? There's nothing in a pool to look at. It's not like you're scuba diving. There's well, nothing. Hold just... on. Clearly, there is something to look at in a pool. Well, no, I wasn't. I wasn't checking. Well, I was checking him out, but I was checking him out for for swimming tips. And he just mm. looked at me when I asked him, "Can you just watch me and offer me any tips?" And he Steve, just looked at me like I was just that mental. Is, that is a, such a strange thing to say. Can you just watch? Me? I don't know how you had the nerve to do that. Well, I, it was innocently motivated. Well, I know it's innocent, but what a strange thing to go up to someone. And... But what with the civilization we live in, where we can't just ask our fellow man to help us out with our forward crawl? But we're in a society where we can't. But you know that. It's a strange thing to say. But, I, but sometimes it's nice to just think, no, do you know what? I'm not going to fall into the trap of I thinking agree. he's immediately going to think I'm gay or but that I'm chatting him up. I'm just going to ask him to do me a favour. There's nothing wrong with that. What if he said, yeah, it's just good, yeah. Um, do you mind coming and help me with um, my plastering? But it's not the same. He's in the swimming pool. He's yeah. there in the pool. He's swimming up and down. He's, you know, yeah. it's not no skin off his nose to just offer a bit of kindly advice. If your car's broken down in the, in the middle of nowhere and someone drives by, you know, it's a generous thing to do. Just stop and maybe look under the bonnet and help them out. I agree. But I don't see how it's any different. And in the end, he did. And all he asked was that I wake him off. <laughs> <laughs>